Good morning, Castaic. I'm your host, Chase Oliveira, and boy, do we have a great episode planned out for you. On this week's show, we'll talk about the popular new game Among Us, meet our new assistant principal, and watch a PSA on why wearing a mask is important. All that and a bag of chips, because today we're going to be celebrating the 90s. Get ready, because Good Morning Castaic starts right now. You can see we're getting pretty jiggy with this episode. To start, we're gonna talk to our home skill at Henry Swindle and meet our new assistant principal. I'm Henry Swindle and I'm here with Mr. McDonald, our new assistant principal. First, I want to start off by thanking you for being here today and welcoming you to Castaic High School. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi Henry, thanks for having me. Um, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley, just over the hill here. And previously to working here at Castaic, I worked at Valencia High School for five years. And prior to that, I worked at La Mesa Junior High for a few years. And I spent 10 years as a school psychologist at Saugus High School. Glad to have you here at Castaic. What made you want to become a school psychologist? And I was working as a teacher. Um, I taught high school at Desert Mountain High School in Scottsdale, Arizona. I just graduated from Arizona State University, spent a few years in the classroom, and I, I for some reason, was, was connecting with students that struggled academically. So I spent a lot of time with the school psychologist, actually, at Desert Mountain, and, and I thought, you know what, she has a really cool job. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. What made you want to switch to assistant principal? When I was working at Saugus High School as the psychologist, I think that more responsibilities just started to fall on my plate. So over time, I said, you know what, let me go back to school again, spend another year, or year and a half in school, and then, you know, get a degree to, to work in administration. Part, obviously, was my choice ultimately, but a lot of it kind of just fell into my lap. And the skills that I have as a psychologist, I use very regularly in my job as an assistant principal. Now, what celebrity would you like to play you in a movie about you? So the celebrity I'd like to play me in a movie about my life, you know, a lot of my family's from the East Coast and from Massachusetts, in particular Boston. So I think maybe Matt Damon. I think he's from that area too, so maybe Matt Damon could play me. <laughs> I can definitely see that casting choice. Thanks for taking some time to meet with us. Thanks, Henry. Thanks for having me. This has been Henry Sundell reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Booyah! Looks like we're going to have a great board of directors this year. Before we continue, let me ask you a question. What day of the year is considered National Pie Day? The correct answer is March 14th. Did you know that only 85% of Americans wear their masks? Let's watch a PSA by Haley Federico that explains why those numbers need to rise. Coronavirus threat, the death toll in the U.S. now officially topping 110,000 and closing in on 2 million confirmed cases. At the same time, dead. thousands infected across multiple continents. Millions quarantined with whole cities in lockdown. It's but how deadly as 24 hours went? last week with more than 2,900 lives lost to COVID-19. I want every American to be prepared for the hard days that lie ahead. The coronavirus has changed life as we know it across America. But how did we go from zero cases to having more than any other country? Remember, it's still important to wear a mask. All these COVID safety measures are getting in the way of spending time with our friends. But Amanda Lee has our back and is going to show you a new game that you can play with your friends from a distance. Hey coyotes, today I'm here with a short spotlight on a popular game called Among Us. This video is going to be explaining on how the game works and how you can play with your friends. 
Among Us is a multiplayer game based on teamwork and deception. In a party of up to 10 people, players are given the role of either crewmate or imposter. If you are a crewmate, your job is to figure out who the imposter is and to complete various tasks around the map. As imposter, your job is to blend in with the other crewmates and kill off the crew one by one. You can also sabotage the crew's tasks and sneak around the map through vents. When a dead body is found or an emergency meeting is held, everyone can vote on who they think the imposter is. If the imposters are discovered, the crewmates win. But if the imposter or imposters kill the whole crew, then the imposters win. The crewmates can also win if all the given tasks are completed. Anyways, enough about the game. How can you play with your friends? Download the mobile app and host a game. Share the code with your friends and there you go. Or get a code from a friend and join their game. That's all for me, Coyotes. I hope you enjoy playing this new game. Reporting for Good Morning Castic, my name is Amanda Lee. Watch your Going outside is pretty fly, and it's a lot healthier than- Chase! We have to do the announcement! I'll take it over to Dunson Liego, and he'll see if it's safe to go- Over to you, Jacob! Thanks, Soren. Hello, Coyotes. Today, I have a few announcements to go over. Athletics on-campus conditioning will begin soon. Details on practice will be provided by your coach within about a week. Bring Change to Mind Crisis Line is available to all students. Text BC2M to 741-741 for free. Chance Peer Tutoring Club at Castaic. If you're interested, email President Shannon Smith for more information. Or sign up for free peer tutoring by going to the Daily Bulletin Board in your advisory class on Canvas. Bring Change to Mind's high school program gives teens a platform to share their voices and raise awareness around mental health. Their goal is to empower students to educate one another and their communities and to create a culture of peer support within their schools. Together, they'll fight the stigma around mental illness. Go to your daily bulletin board and advisory and fill out the form provided to join their next meeting. That was all for me. I'm Gabe Glad Villain. Back to you, Torin. Thanks, Jacob. Going outside is pretty fly, and it's a lot healthier than sitting at your computer all day. Let's take it over to Dunson Liego, and he'll see if it's safe to go outside. He has the weather. What's up, Coyotes? I hope you all are having wonderful mornings as we get through this week's 7-day weather report. Today, we'll be seeing a high of 94 and a low 58 degrees, as well as a week of sunny and clear skies to kick off the second week of fall. Saturday sees a slight rise in temperature with a high of 95 degrees and a low of 60. Sunday brings us a high of 99 and a low of 63. From Monday to next Friday, it looks like it'll come with temperatures in the low 100s. The start of our school week leads the way with a high of 103 and lows of 67. Tuesday's temps peak at 105 and reach their lowest dip at 68. Wednesday sees the worst of the heat away as a high of 103 and a low of 68 starts to cool down. Thursday boasts a high of 103 as well with temperatures reaching as low as 67. To finish off our weather report, next Friday we'll top off at 100 and have lows of 64. Reporting for Good Morning Castaic, I'm Dudson Joseph Liogo. The votes have gone through and Castaic High's ASB officers have been elected. Amanda Lee and Blythe Walker will present to you interviews from each member of our student government. Hey Castaic Coyotes, my name is Grace Kelly, as many of you know, and I'm your new ASB president. I'm so excited and I can't wait to get started. Please email me if you have any questions or ideas for events. Me and my fellow executives are already working on a lot of amazing ideas for you guys to get connected with other students and some fun activities, so stay tuned. Thank you. Hey Coyotes, I'm Amaya Ellsworth and I'm your ASB Vice President. As Vice President, I built a bridge between ASB and the student body, allowing for more open communication. In addition, I'm key into what planning goes in the student store or some of the bigger events you see on campus. Remember, me and my fellow officers and executives all have your best interests at heart. Hey Coyotes, I'm Fahim Ramon and I'd just like to say thank you for allowing me to be your ASB secretary. As ASB secretary, I'm in charge of the ASB meeting minutes. In the ASB meeting minutes is when we approve all of your purchase orders, clubs, fundraising activities that just go throughout the school and I'm the one that signs off on all the forms. 
I am so excited to get to know all of you personally and make it a connection with you and make your high school experience the best that it possibly can be. Thank you so much again. Bye. Hey Coyotes, I'm Sienna Harris, the treasurer of ASB. Basically what this means is I work to approve purchase orders, maintain the student store, and also work alongside with the other officers to make sure that you have a great school year. This year, I ran for office because I want to promote a positive mindset and a cleaner campus than we had last year. I hope to meet you all soon, whether that be back on campus or on Zoom. Thank you. Between the new principal and our student leaders, I'm sure we're gonna have a great year. Anyway, since it's Spirit Week, let's take it over to Jacob Calderon for a special report on the 90s. Good morning, Coyotes. Have you ever wondered what it would have been like to live in the 90s? Today, I'll be answering that question. A big part of today is our phones and technology. So, what was technology like in the 90s? The most common type of phones were flip phones. There was no social media, just text and calls. Put it in your pocket or purse and make the most of your time. This offer is so convenient, you won't have to leave the comfort of your own home. Computers were really big and took up a lot of space. Dell built a desktop just for me. This direct way actually costs less. To download files, it would take up to several hours. And if your internet shut down, you would have to restart the download. In 1995, Sony came out with the first PlayStation. The video game graphics were revolutionary at the time. To listen to music, you would carry around an MP3 player, which used CDs. A big part of the 90s were the iconic TV shows, such as Friends, Sister Sister, Prince of Bel-Air, and Saved by the Bell. In the 90s, for movie night, there was no Netflix or Hulu. You would have gone to Blockbuster and rented out a movie and bought some snacks. Over 10,000 videos, three evening rentals. In the 90s, the fashion was very colorful and stood out among other decades. A big part of fashion at the time were the grunge looks, with baggy t-shirts and ripped jeans. Plaid was also very big at the time, for example, shown in the movie Clueless. Curtain bangs and big poofy hair were a staple at the time. According to my sister, the 90s were a great time to be alive. That's all for me, I'm Jacob Calderon, reporting for Good Morning Castaic. What a great decade! I hope the 2020s will be a lot better than this year. Anyways, that brings our episode to an end. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and watch replays of our videos on YouTube. Have a good weekend, Coyotes. Over and out.